difference in, in allowing you to sort of configure a visual interface? We haven't seen this really in any logic, the full, you know, anything close to what it can allow you to do. But we're, it's, it's really exciting what you can do in any logic. And that logo also, uh, where you can sort of have custom sliders and adjust things and see the effects, the model operation, have buttons, you push and say start the intervention, and it's good stuff. Um, so NetLogo, I have a great deal of respect for. Um, Yuri Walensky is, is uh, I think, has long been a, um, uh, a sort of a visionary in this regard. And um, I've been following the development of that platform for 25 years because I was in original contact with the person who created the very first version, Star Logo, at MIT in 1990. Um, and uh, it's come out of Star Logo, and it turned into NetLogo. Um, so it's got lots of great things to recommend, and I wouldn't discourage people strongly from it. I think it's a great platform to try, to try out. But there are some serious limitations, and I have seen project after project where they have abandoned NetLogo once they get beyond the kind of toyish stage. Why is that? I, and I don't say this with delight. I mean, I, I actually have real regrets. I think that logo could have gone a lot further. And I have very particular thoughts about how it could have gone a lot further. Um, their primary, as far as I'm concerned, their primary big limitations are, number one, the fact that they have a language which is horrible. The language, net the logo language is horrible. I know people who teach the NetLogo courses and they feel that they are abusing students by teaching that language. I mean, I don't, I don't actually feel good teaching Java, to be honest, because I think we could do a lot better than that, but it's okay, it's, it's okay. and it has, it, it has a lot of strengths to it that the NetLogo language does not. The NetLogo language is, I, from a, a, speaking as someone who's a computer language person and spent a fair bit of my life, it, it's, it's gratuitously bad. I, I'm tempted to use the word abomination. Um, it's, it's really not a good thing. And, and, it, and it's isolated and fragmented. You can't call out easily to many different languages or to libraries and so on. So it's very, it's very sort of restricted, plat, constricted platform. And another issue, though, a major issue is scalability, okay? Um, so, the, the, and this is the primary reason I've seen people give it up, case after case after case. Uh, they say that basically, once you get above 30,000 agents, forget it. And, and it's a sad thing, because I think it could do so much better. And um, we have our own little modeling language project, and we think we could do vastly better than Sorry, we know we can do much vastly better than, than Java and the NetLogo. Um, but Java's a step up from what NetLogo has for sure. NetLogo, um, uh, NetLogo has, uh, has also some limitations about what you can do through the interface that are, are also kind of constrictive. And compared to any logic, it's, it's sort of much more it, it, it's much more limited in sort of what, how you can, how you can set things up flexibly in terms of the model. But it is a very nice platform in some respects. And for small toy examples where you, you know, you grit your teeth and you're willing to live with the language, I think it's fine. Now we've we've had some uh, some of our models which have been converted from NetLogo into AnyLogic, and uh, you know the people who built them in NetLogo are just so happy because it was so much more flexible and understandable. And, and, and the sad thing about it, the sad thing about it, ladies and gentlemen, is that with NetLogo, um, it constricts what you can explore. And so, in other words, it's not just a matter of nuisance and inconvenience. It's, it's, it's like it cuts off, like, like poor Procrustes on his ancient bed you know, the opportunity to explore whole sets of things. It chops off his legs because it didn't fit the bet. And I, as a software engineer and a software developer, stand absolutely ashamed of my discipline when we chop off users' legs because it doesn't fit our computational convenience. And, and I think that NetLogo has, has um, a lot to sort of, a lot of room for improvement. 
No, I hope they, they do do that. They've been in late of, uh, of late. They've had some forward steps. They've rewritten a lot of their stuff to be in Scala. Um, and, you know, I wish them well. I'm, 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 I'm rooting for, for development on their side because I think we desperately need a teaching platform. But unless they do it soon, we, and I don't necessarily mean any logic here, are going to eat their lunch um, because there's a lot of people desperate to learn uh, agent-based modeling at a beginner level and that need a kind of beginner platform and um, and we know we can just do so much better and, and NetLogo has been sort of stuck in this rut for a long time so so you know I hope I hope they kind of wake up and and make their platform much more much more accessible to beginners and much more flexible and much more scalable but uh, right now it is just not a serious language for for serious research is what it comes down to it, it for learning it's great and for learning it's great for developing your sort of thinking about models it's great but for but for kind of pursuing serious research investigation what i heard from people who've invested a lot of time in is that you know they have to abandon it it's just and they typically will go to another platform yeah is that is that helpful yeah, yeah. and i could i could show you example models in both and you could see what their AnyLogic version looks like, what their NetLogo version looks like. Can you say the language that the same is similar or a little bit thicker with AnyLogic? I think it's simpler with AnyLogic. Yeah. I, I think, and, and maybe more to the point, you, you, you go through learning curves with both, okay? There's conceptual learning curves also. And you go through learning curves with both. And, and with AnyLogic, you know, I don't want to sound overly negative with that logo. With any logic, it goes, once you're over that learning learning curve, you've surmounted much of it, your options, your vistas are much broader. Whereas with NetLogo, it's like you're going into a canyon and you can play nicely in the canyon, but then if you want to get real research done, you know, you're going to have to climb out of the canyon on some pretty steep cliffs. That's a, that's a bad... It's not a great analogy, but it 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 uh, it captures some of the phenomenology of it. Is that yeah. helpful? Because those cliffs of repast are pretty forbidding. Um, basically, you want to turn into a software developer. Okay. Um, so, sorry. Any other questions? Um, uh, I, I appreciate people's patience with this because I know the different questions are different, and probably in retrospect, I should have suggested people download the example models and play with them or follow some step-by-step -step examples. But but I do think there's a role for getting certain common questions aired out. Um, and uh, and again, I want to you know finalize my comment on that logo by just saying I think it does have a lot of strengths. And I would say, you know, come up and talk with me if you want more subtleties. Maybe for your needs it would be perfectly fine. And um, And I'm hoping in the next year that they'll you know they'll they'll undertake things which address many of these but uh, these issues um, but yeah but right now what I've heard is basically from people who have spent years with it it's not a serious research platform yeah. you, you got to leave it is what I've what I've heard um,